Hello guys, we are here with the brief explanation of Don editorials along with the meaning of difficult words and indication of discourse markers and punctuation marks. Our first editorial is Swiss Burka Van. First of all, we will see the meanings of difficult words. Apprehension means understanding. Cloak means outfit to conceal your identity. Spearheaded means to lead. Omnius means threatening, menacing, baleful, forbidding. Plastered means covered with. This editorial includes these difficult words. Now we will see the punctuation marks. Comma is a punctuation mark along with double dashes. Double dashes break the flow of sentence. We have highlighted the important figure and facts in green color. Just over 51% of Swiss voters backed the ban with campaigns spearheaded by rightist party in the Alpine nation. According to one figure, 30 women wear the niqab in a population of 8.6 million. Amnesty International has called the burqa ban a dangerous policy that violates women rights. These are the discourse markers highlighted in different color. In a nutshell, in Switzerland, voters have narrowly backed a ban on forced face covering, widely seen as a vehicle to prohibit burqas and full face wheels that some Muslim women wear. Sadly, several other nations in Europe like France, Denmark and Austria have taken similar steps. Rather than generally helping curb extremism, these moves only help propel the agenda of far-right parties in Europe, who see Muslims, people of color and racial minorities as outsiders trying to gain the continent's pure culture. Next editorial is hate-filled politics. The Speaker of National Assembly has ordered a probe in investigation into the unfortunate incident outside the parliament building in which a crowd of PTI supporters harassed and manhandled senior leaders of PMLN. Manhandle mean handle someone roughly by bragging or pushing. The probe is not likely to produce an outcome since the incident most senior PTI leaders have either ignored the incident or blamed the opposition for holding the press conference at a venue where a PTI crowd had gathered. This amount to be blaming the victim, it is the illustration of depth of partisan politicking, which means person who strongly supports their party's policies and reluctant to compromise with political opponents. We have fallen into that seemingly reasonable men and women of government are ready and willing to justify the manhandling of their senior parliament colleagues, albeit from the other side of asile, albeit means although and asile means a passage between rows of seats and it is in between the double dashes it means it will break the flow of sentence to avoid blaming their own supporters. Such apathy and deliberate callousness is fast pushing our politics towards the moral bankruptcy and thereby keeping away at the legitimacy that politicians must retain in order to keep the representative system of load. Apathy means lack of interest, enthusiasm and concern and callousness means intensive and cruel disregard for others. The legitimacy also got battering by the electoral manipulation that happened in NA75 Tuska by election under the direct supervision of PTI's Punjab government. It got further degraded by the shenanigans Pakistan witnessed before and during Senate elections. Shenanigans means secret or dishonest activity or maneuvering leaked videos of vote buying, allegations of horse trading and the government's failed attempts to force through a change in the middle of voting for nurturing political interests or events that together have delivered a body blow to the legitimacy of system in its present shape and form. Nothing could be more unfortunate after decades of struggling for constitutional democracy and representative system of governance in which all parties are critical stakeholders Today's political outfits are reversing themselves and the system into an unpleasant past. Clothing means hate is all pervasive is prevalent. It means hate is all prevalent. This hate is beyond this stage 
where rivals can construct a functional relationship for the sake of system the incident outside parliament has shown that those in the government are unwilling and unable to dilute their virulent partnership at any cost the genesis of virulence lies to a great extent in the unwillingness of prime minister imran khan to accept the pmln and pp leaders as genuine parliamentary rivals he considers them corrupt thieves who should be in jail not in the assemblies his rank and file have internalized this narrative and therefore it is not surprising that partnership has acquired the colors of personal enmity and collective loathing it was this loathing that drove pt supporters to attack senior leaders including a woman of pmln and it is the loathing that disallows pt leaders to condemn the incident without any conditions attached pakistan politics is hurting down a very some path and few appear to recognize to the threat or care too much about it someone needs to usher in sanity and restraint before we hearken back to the demons of past usher means show or guide someone and hearken back means evoke an older style or genre next editorial is lng concerns two public sector lng companies have raised safety concerns over the excessive utilization of the country's two existing lng terminals a joint report by pakistani lng ltd and pakistan lng terminal ltd says that both terminals are overstressed and the lng value chain is very fragile fragile means very delicate when compared to the global standards owing to inflexible infrastructure constraints constraints mean a limitation or restriction it also points out that both terminals could face operational and safety risks risks contrary to perception the combined utilization of the two terminals has been around 84% against a global average of 43% which leaves very little flexibility to handle shocks even countries such as kuwait and argentina which rely on floating storage and regasification units like pakistan have a far lower utilization rate the reason of overstressing the existing lng imports capacity are obvious first it is inability to attract investment in new terminals means that government has no option but to fully use the existing facilities to meet the country's increasing lng import needs second this is the discourse market the failure to build lng storage requires the authorities to overstretch the existing capacity especially during winters when the demand for imported gas peaks which shows up in lower than world ratio re gas to storage and import capacity to storage there are several factors including policy flaws pipeline capacity constraints as well as a malicious propaganda against the sponsor of the existing terminals which have blocked or discouraged private investors in new terminals although the government has provisionally allowed the two more companies to set up terminals the unavailability of sufficient pipeline capacity to bring in imported gas of punjab where the most demand exists is keeping them from breaking you can also see that double dashes are breaking the flow of sentence for unknown reasons the government is also not allowing the existing terminals to increase capacity of bringing more gas for private sector customers meanwhile in recent times these both are highlighted in different color and these both are discourse marker that will enhance the articulation style the regulator is yet to improve approve third party access rulers and enter user agreement that would allow terminal operators to sell imported lng to buyers including the textile power and fertilizer industries with pakistan gas demand increasing on account of economic growth and higher capacity utilization it is crucial for the country to build new terminal lrs invest in lng storage and pipeline infrastructure in recent months we have seen gas companies ration gas quantities at the expense of industrial output only because we do not have sufficient lng import infrastructure to bring in the quantities required time is of the essence in this case essence means wind sense soul or spirit thank you so much this was all about today's standard tutorial